On the 6th of May 1935, King George V achieved the milestone of 25 years as Emperor and King of the British Empire. To celebrate the occasion, the British Colonial Post Office proposed an imperial commemorative issue. Although the King, a keen stamp collector himself, didn't much care for commemoratives, he gave his approval nonetheless. 250 omnibus sets of stamps were issued for 44 British colonies, while a further seven, including Great Britain, used their own designs. The Jubilee stamps were grandiose and much larger than any previous stamp. They consisted of the crowned head of King George V facing left and looking towards Windsor Castle in the distance with the round tower, the prominent landmark. And there you can see him. Windsor Castle in the background and the round tower there. And we also have the orb, scepter and the sword of state creating the border. These beautiful stamps were designed by Hugo Fleury who worked for Waterloo and Sons at the time. This same Windsor Castle design was used on sets of stamps for each colony of the British Empire and each colonial had a different colour scheme. The denomination of the stamps reflects the local currency and their postal charges. These stamps are of considerable interest to serious stamp collectors because of the small printing errors that occurred affecting the picture of the castle and other features on the stamps. This happened because this particular design was used for a large number of stamps as there were so many colonies at the time. And speaking of those colonies, I have this small set of four stamps that were printed and issued for Nyasaland. Situated in Central Africa, it's now known as Malawi. Anyway, as you can see, I have the one pence, two pence, three pence, and one shilling stamp, all in fine mint condition. The catalogue value for these four stamps is 38 pounds. So not a fortune, but as I mentioned earlier, there are some issues that contain flaws in the design and as a result, they can fetch up to £2,000. The Falkland Islands issues are one particular set of these stamps that are known to have constant flaws in them, so do check those out if you have them in your collection. Let's have a quick closer look at each of these individual stamps. So there we have it, a brief overview of one of these Commonwealth Omnibus sets from Nyasaland. Let me know which ones you have, or do you have all 250 set of stamps? As usual, thank you for watching if you have. Please do subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, bye for now.